Hi, thanks a lot. I wanted to thank you for the possibility to participate in this uh, very significant research event. My presentation will be focused on the changed role of value of labor in Industry 5.0. Uh, today, uh, the colleagues already talked about changing values and the fact that transition from uh, Industry 4.0 to 5.0 uh, is uh, related to changed values. In this slide, you can see interesting models of Consumer Society 4.0 uh, and the dominating today model of Consumer Society where attention is focused on the need to uh, make accent uh, on a growing consumption. But this contradicts uh, the uh, labor uh, focus uh, and constructive labor. Uh, talking about the transition to society 6.0, we are talking about development of digital values and ideas of transformation of values themselves. The model of consumption in society 5.0 is closely related to a certain balance between economic progress and the development of social problems. The basis of Industry 5.0 is uh, the social-centric approach, uh, which is based uh, on different types of interrelation, communicativity, interaction, and responsibility. Talking about the need of transition to Industry 5.0, and today it was mentioned more than once, I wanted to emphasize that three basic principles are resilience, which is associated with cyber social stability, the humanization of technology, human centricity, with the sustainable development of industrial ecosystems. Uh, at the same time, the next slide, please. Uh, today, uh, there is a certain dilemma how Industry 5.0 corresponds to the in uh, principles of global sustainable development or of UN. Uh, so we have 17 goals of sustainable development emphasized in red uh, is uh, assistance to gradual and universal sustainable economic growth and uh, ensuring employment for everyone. And there is a certain dilemma how cyber social sustainability is possible under the conditions of the changed role of labor today. According to the statements at the end of September this year of Amanda Mohammed at the week of high level in the General Assembly of UN, it was stated that the planned goal of sustainable development hasn't been reached. It's, uh, their completion is only 17%. Uh, and in the lack of joint action, it is obvious uh, that the UN plan for the development uh, and uh, the protection of humanity will not be reached. Uh, I wanted to draw your attention to the changed role of labor. And there is an interesting question uh, with the digital transformation to Industry 5.0 with regard to society will lead us to capitalism. What is uh, the reason for this question? First of all, the demand in labor decreases, demand in physical labor, because we said that the transition is imminent to cyber, social cyber systems. Development of economy of joint consumption uh, change, uh, changes the attitude towards property. And while we have private property rights, uh, and it does exist, uh, but in economy of sharing, uh, we cannot talk about socialization of capital age, but the relationship of property changes. The mechanism of price formation changes. Uh, and the decentralization of object management based on blockchain and decentralization and competition of global uh, cyber uh, crypto uh, currencies. Uh, today, uh, among our Russian uh, researchers, there are different opinions uh, with regard to the decreased demand in labor uh, will ensure cre a creative new role of humans. The researchers see the transition to new creative freedom. And now I'm quoting uh, Professor Badrunov, uh, 
uh, and uh, Professor Busgalin on development technology, who does not make us free. Uh, we are growing more dependent, and uh, there is a problem of cyber social stability. And then we wanted to draw your attention, next slide please, talking about certain uh, contradictions in the change role of labor in cyber social cyber systems. I wanted to draw your attention to some contradictions in sustainable cyber social development in Industry 5.0. First of all, it's growth of cyber crime, it's growth of social polarization because of limited access to globalization values, growth of inequality of different groups of population, activization of global platforms and mechanism of forced consumption, uh, which some societies do not accept, domination of values of super consumption in society by means of platformization, manipulation of consumer preferences uh, via the availability of uh, 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 and, uh, and the pseudo race uh, and the growth of inequality. Uh, then there's also a very important contradiction uh, in the existing system of ratings uh, and other uh, challenges. Uh, despite uh, the number of contradictions and challenges, uh, those uh, challenges uh, were not exhaustive. Uh, they uh, reflect a very important uh, content uh, in the present day very unstable configuration uh, of the period of transition. Uh, but nonetheless, I wanted to draw your attention to a number of determinants which we emphasize uh, to establish a sustainable cyber social development. First of all, is institutional regulation of employment, the information of the new quality of all views and civil society on the basis of development of form cyber culture, uh, paying attention to our national principles our spirituality and state orientation. It was discussed today in the context of AI, but it was transformed by the cultural norms of the state. Third, it's very important to ensure a planned development of social technological competences on a permanent basis because the management of modern machines and robots, uh, the people must uh, need knowledge about collaboration. Inter implementation of advanced technologies requires time and effort from the employees to develop Industry 5.0. It is necessary to implement specialized software and uh, the techniques and technologies in this context. And then it is necessary to ensure socially responsible investment into Industry 5.0 to ensure the safety and security, which is a major problem in strengthening trust of people to Industry 5.0, then ensuring new quality of educational processes both in higher education and uh, secondary education, ensuring new quality of medical services, uh, not only uh, aimed at diagnostics and prevention of diseases, uh, but prevention uh, of uh, emotional uh, problems. Uh, one minute uh, left. And uh, also ensuring new quality uh, of uh, uh, knowledge and cultural historical uh, values uh, under the conditions of cyber social and geopolitical challenges and threats. Thank you for your attention.